The process plan in Aris Innovator begins with a produced part. This is an engineering part that will be produced by the process plan. You can add and replace them here. You can promote them right from this step. And of course, process plans follow their own revision controls and workflows. Moving from this metadata screen to the process plan itself, we can see that on the left, we have a high level overview of all the steps in a process plan to create this high level part. Each level down, we have another step in the process plan. These are independent process plans themselves, which means they have their own produced part. In this case, they can have a phantom assembly or an engineering part. You can choose to author the highest level process plan first, leaving spaces for the lower level plans, or you can author the lower level process plans one by one and roll them up into a higher level assembly. It's really up to your team. This promotes reuse. So if you think about it, that fan that we see would have one process plan that you author one time, and you can reuse that fan throughout multiple assemblies. That way, if you need to change your process, you change it in one place and any place that fan is reused, the changes cascade. Every process plan includes parts from engineering, along with the resources that you might need to produce that part, machines, skills, and tools. You can bring them into the process plan step here through a very easy click and drag interface that we'll see in a minute. They're stored and managed independently for reuse and efficiency across all of your processes. Again, you author information about skills, machines, and resources, like tools right here, store them once, and reuse them across any process plan. Authoring new steps in a process plan is as easy as editing text. Building a process plan can begin here in the process plan view, adding steps and associating those parts, skills, resources, machines, and tools that you saw earlier, or it can begin over in the MBOM. The MBOM is a view of all the parts in a process plan rolled up all the way from its children process plans automatically. All of the engineering parts are reconciled automatically to the MBOM. So what you see here represents the quantities in the EBOM. So it's letting you know whether these quantities are overconsumed or underconsumed or split between them. For example, if you need to reconcile one of these steps, go ahead and edit and mark the correct quantity and that reconciliation flag goes away. A similar flag exists on this EBOM view. So what you're seeing is the engineering bill of materials of that highest level part in the process plan, the produced part. Over in the EBOM, you can see parts flagged that have not yet been used in the MBOM to help you as you author the MBOM. So let's see how we author an MBOM. Back here in the MBOM, we select parts from the workbench. This is the same workbench that we saw earlier in the process plan, but instead of just parts, we could see all the skills, machines, resources, tools, etc. We simply drag and drop one of the parts from the workbench up into the MBOM. We'll give it a process step. And returning to the EBOM, you'll be able to see that the part is used and the reconciliation status is cleared. Because we gave this part a step in the process plan, it slots into the process plan exactly where we told it to as the first operation. We can then begin to edit the step with a title, with any details. We can add tables. We can drag in more parts or even sub process plans right here. In this way, you're authoring process plans, including their work instructions, their steps, their operations, all the skills and parts that they need to be completed in a way that matches your business needs.